welcome everyone who's new. Welcome back everyone who is returning. My name is Jack, psychic medium, Reiki master, and authenticity mentor. And today the reading that we will be doing is what abundance is coming your way. All right. Um, we just had a new moon in cancer on July 17th. So we're going to see what beautiful abundance is coming your way. Okay. Um, hey, Charlene. Good morning. Um, I just got my hair done yesterday. That's why it looks so good. Um, <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Hey, Tammy. I was just thinking about you, literally. All right, guys. So I am big on interaction. Um, so we do have a 50K like goal every single morning if you're watching this on TikTok. So please tap, tap, tap the screen to like the live. If you're watching this on YouTube as a replay, please hit that like and subscribe button. If you are watching this on YouTube and you would like to learn how to work with me, the link is in the description box. If you would like to learn how to work with me, join any of my classes, book a one on one. If you're watching this on TikTok, the link is in my TikTok bio. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the last thing I will say before I hop into the reading, guys, is if you feel called to tip me for this collective reading, you can do so through my Cash App, PayPal, or Venmo. I appreciate anything. It takes a lot of my energy to do these collective readings. So if you feel called to give me a tip for the reading, again, cash out PayPal Venmo. The link is in my TikTok bio. All right. So if you are ready for the reading, comment ready. Comment ready. Who's ready for the reading? Tell me what you want. I'll give you what you need. All right. Awesome. Let's do it. All right. So here we go. God, source, universe, divine, creator of all things, only for our highest and best and through your divine love and light. What abundance is coming to these beautiful souls? Abundance. What are, uh, what intentions did you guys set on the new moon? What abundance are you trying to attract and why? What are you trying to attract and why? Oh my effing God, y'all. Right out the gate, 10 of pentacles. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 10 of pentacles. <laughs> Guys, this is like the best card to get for like tangible abundance. Okay, so if you're wanting like long lasting love, like a really solid, secure relationship, marriage, kids, whatever, there it is. Um, finances, this is like the best card for finances other than the sun. Um, this is like tangible, long term, secure, you can count on it, abundance. All right. Now this could also be long-term sustainable health solutions as well. Okay. Um, so you have to apply it to where it resonates in your life. So tell me in the comments, guys, like what type of abundance, tangible abundance, is it better? Um, is it better health? Is it more money? Is it a, a stable long-term career? Is it stability in your family relationships or just in love? Okay. Are you wanting to buy a property or relocate like uh, to your forever home? Okay. Like to me, this would be um, like relocating somewhere or moving somewhere where that is your forever home. Wow. Healthy relationship, stable home, good, stable marriage, financial abundance. Beautiful. Forever home relocating. I love it. Guys, <laughs> what abundance is coming your way? Everything you're commenting. Everything you're commenting. All right, but let's see. Let's clarify this a little bit. Strength. Okay, so we have Leo energy. This could be coming in Leo season. Maybe around August, um, between August 8th and 10th. I feel like... I know we have a new uh, a full moon in Aquarius on August 1st. 
But I'm just looking at the moon phase calendar really quick. Where are we going to be at? Okay. And then the lovers. Interesting. Six of Cups. All right. So the Six of Cups represents a gift from the universe when you're doing an abundance reading. Okay. Um, it can represent nostalgia, the past, your childhood. It overall is a card of healing. So whatever abundance is coming in, it's coming in because you went through a grieving process. You let go of something or someone that no longer served you. You allowed yourself to purge that emotion, to feel it and let it go. And now the universe is like, you know what? You did that emotional work. So here's a gift. Okay, so this is something that's going to help make you feel like elated, emotionally happy, just like at peace, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, by the way, if some of you are wondering if a loved one is at peace, they are. That came through just randomly. Okay. Anyway, um, it's funny. I feel like you guys took the trash out of your life, like negative energy, trashy people, whatever. It, it's funny because the, um, the garbage truck just came by my house and picked up my trash. So, like, my guides came in and, like, gave me the analogy. All right. Um, but we have the ten of, look at the, look at the colors, guys. Like, this is beautiful, okay? So, ten of pentacles, we have, you know, everything you could ever want as far as tangible abundance that's long-term and stable. Okay, we have the strength card. Um, I love this because it's the strength you this abundance you're receiving is going to give you a lot of confidence, a lot of courage to pursue a new path. Okay. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you were thinking about leaving your jobs or you were let go from your job and you want to build or start something new or you're thinking or have left a relationship and you want to rebuild, restart, revamp your life in some way. Does that make sense to you? Um, comment makes sense. The lovers, uh, you want to like, you want to create a, a completely different life for yourself, honestly. One that is unique, one that's filled with healing and peace, balance, where you get to choose you. You have the strength to choose yourself. Queen of Wands. Interesting. Okay. With the Queen of Wands, so just to call out the astrology, guys, we have um, Leo, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sag, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now, if you're not those signs, that's fine. We don't have any water energy here yet, um, which is okay. doesn't really make a difference. Um... Queen of Wands, oh, guys, if you wanted to manifest like, or you were trying to attract more confidence, more assertiveness, more, um... <laughs> all right, I'm just going to say what your spirit guides are saying, not, not giving a fuck what people think about what you're doing. <laughs> That's what I feel like saying to you, not giving a crap what people think about what you're doing. Honestly, um, I feel like for uh, for many of you, for the majority of your life, fear of judgment directed your decision making. And this abundance is going to make you confident, not only in taking a very unique path that's in alignment with your, um, your life purpose, it's going to make you very confident, step into your power and say, I don't give a crap what you think, what you think, what you think. This is my motherfucking life and this is what I'm doing. Period. I don't care. It's like you want to live a healthy life, not a hard life, not a hard knock life. It's a hard knock life for us. <laughs> Sorry, that song just popped in my head. It's a hard knock life for us. Instead of treated, we get tricked. Instead of kisses, we 
get kicked. It's a hard knock life. Clearly I'm not a singer. Um, yeah, I feel like maybe some of you resonate with that song. I would, I would read the lyrics, honestly. It's like that song is about rejection. It's about being put down. It's about no matter what you do, you're never, you never receive the acknowledgement that you deserve. Um, it's a hard knock life by the, the play Annie. It's a hard knock life for us. That's the opening line. All right. Anyway. Yeah, I would either listen to that song or read the lyrics and meditate on it and journal. Okay. Anyway, so seven of wands. Um, guys, the abundance that's coming in, people are going to be really jealous. Really jealous. Um, and at a deeper level, the jealousy is coming from them not being able to close certain cycles and patterns in their life that you are able to. Now, this could really, this could be very much tied to family, especially with the Ten of Pentacles here. I said this yesterday in the reading. Um, there's something about you are meant to be much more abundant than your family, um, to have more, but it's because you, you go about it a different way. You're living, I just feel like the way that you attract abundance you're very aware of it. Like you, you don't, you know, at the soul level that you're not meant to work a nine to five. You're not meant to like drive your energy into the ground. You're, you're not meant to like burn the candle at both ends to receive what you deserve. I feel like a lot of you are like, that is just not the life I want to live. Like, I don't want to be burnt out all the time. Like I just, that doesn't feel in alignment, right? Like, why do I have to live my life like this? And my TikTok just glitched. So my spirit guides have been doing that a lot when I say things that you guys need to pay attention to. Okay. For some of you, I feel like... What I want to say to you guys is if you're thinking about investing in starting a business... Um, I would do it. There is so much abundance there. If you like step out of your comfort zone, face your fear and take that path. That's for some of you. Queen of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Um, guys, I... I, I want to keep saying like financial security and stability here because that it's just like pentacles on top of pentacles. Um, I feel like you guys, the abundance you're receiving is being able to step out of your comfort zone and go somewhere new, start something new, try something new. Maybe put yourself out there in some way that is very different to what you're used to, if that makes sense. Um, so I would take the leap of faith, honestly, if there is a leap of faith that you're wanting to take. Um, it could have something to do with children, your inner child, or just getting very excited about a new path. Page of Wands is Aries Leo Sagittarius energy, but it's uh, it's your it's passion, but it's something new you've never done or a place you've never gone to. Okay, um, but you still feel attached to it in some way. So if you guys are are trying to attract abundance to be able to go somewhere that you feel attached to energetically now this could be past life okay um i feel like you're going to be able to do that um but let's see temperance that's sagittarius energy that's more travel i wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you guys are wanting to travel or just um what the abundance you're attracting is more balance stability healing healing to the body Three of Pentacles. Wanting to work on yourself. Um, would not be surprised. Like, 
yeah, like you can say, oh, you want money, 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 blah, 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 blah. But what are you going to use it for? Like money is just a tool, right? So I feel like you guys want to use maybe financial abundance to find balance in your life, right? Maybe to heal the body, maybe to start a new fitness routine, nutrition routine. Um, I would say like overall to realign your vibration. And the reason why I say that is because every single atom, every single piece of energy has a vibration, okay? Vibrates at a certain frequency. And when you have and maintain an elevated vibration, you manifest much more efficiently, okay? Um, you have to have an elevated vibration to attract what you want, okay? So... You've, I'm sure you guys have heard like, oh, if you want to manifest, you have to be in the energy of joy, of happiness, of bliss, of gratitude. Do, do you is Am I right? Comment confirm if that resonates. I'm going somewhere with this, I promise you. Beautiful, okay. So... To get into those high vibrational emotions, right? Joy, bliss, happiness, gratitude, love, etc., etc. You have to be healthy physically, okay? Think about when you feel like shit physically, okay? When you're sick or when you're not eating properly, when you're not exercising. Don't you feel heavy in your body? Don't you feel like super low vibe? Comment yes or no. Okay. So this is why, this is why the health of your body is directly tied to the health of your spirit and how efficiently you guys manifest what you want. Okay. Because you cannot emotionally get yourself into those high vibrational emotions, joy, happiness, bliss, gratitude, if your body is weighed down by unhealthy habits. If you're eating like crap, if you're not doing your spiritual self-care, like meditation, journaling, grounding, if you're not exercising, all of that. So you need to make sure all your boxes are checked off. So I feel like maybe you guys are learning that or you're... Finding that your intuition is guiding you to change your exercise routine, the way that you eat, the people you allow in your energetic space, okay, right? You have higher standards energetically, nutritionally, physically, et cetera, et cetera. Let me know how, if this is resonating for you guys, okay? Um, so I feel like this abundance is coming in because you guys are starting to understand the correlation between the health of your body maintaining an elevated vibration that way and how that directly impacts how efficiently and quickly you manifest. Okay? Like, no more instant gratification bullshit. No more taking shortcuts. Okay? You're in the long game here. You want sustainable health and wellness. And health and wellness is just not your body. It's your vibration. It's your spirit. Okay? Um... So I wouldn't be surprised too if like you guys are having like cravings for very specific like fruits and vegetables as well. So honor that. And the reason being is because your body is telling you, you have vibrational deficiencies. And if you want to raise your vibration, you need to re-inoculate me with these vibrations from specific fruits and vegetables. Is this making sense to you guys? Am I like blowing your mind now? Let me know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Okay? So it's not just nutrient deficiency. Okay? It's not just vitamin and mineral deficiency. Okay? Vitamins and minerals come from fruits and veg. Okay? Fruit and vegetable, plants, have a vibration. They're a living thing. Okay? There are certain elements from the earth that you need to consume physically because your body can't do it on its own. That's why grounding is so important because you are directly connected with the earth, okay? So like, um, 
in nutrition, there is something called essential and non-essential, okay? Essential proteins, or essential nutrients, non-essential nutrients. Essential nutrients are those that you have to get from the earth because your body cannot create them on its own. So I feel like a lot of you guys are craving specific plants, fruits and veg, to fill those vibrational deficiencies so not only your body heals, but your spirit heals at the same time. So then you elevate your vibration, you maintain it, and then you attract abundance. Okay, is this making sense to you guys? And then, okay, two of wands, chariot. Yeah, mm -hmm. perfect, great, I'm glad it's making sense. Um, and then we have the chariot. Um, so. As far as abundance goes, and by the way, guys, um, if you're interested in working with me for vibrational realignment, I do have a workshop coming up as well as one-on-one -on -one sessions. So if you would like to learn how to specifically realign and maintain an elevated vibration through spiritual self-care as well as nutrition, comment Jack, that's my name, clearly, if you would like to learn how to work with me because I help clients do that, okay? Um, anyway. Anyway. So the chariot, I feel like you guys, the abundance you're attracting or receiving is motivation, some sort of solution to a challenge or obstacle could have to do with a Cancer, a Sagittarius, a Leo, maybe a Gemini, okay. Um, temperance, three of pentacles, two of wands. I feel like a lot, I feel like you guys are, are, the abundance coming in is like a break, like time to work on yourself and really think about where you want your life to go. I also feel like some of you, you like, you're going to be able to go back to school um, or in, like invest in some sort of area of education that you're interested in, but it, it's attached to like spirituality in some way or health and wellness, okay? Like, so are, who here is like going back to school or wanting to get into like develop their expertise or get certified in something where you're able to bring healing to others? Because you're planning it now. I see it there. So what I want to tell you guys, what you're being inspired to do, that's the key to overcoming the challenges and obstacles that are on your path right now. Okay. We'll do one more row. Justice, I love this. Justice, beautiful. We have justice. And then that's Libra energy, page of pentacles. Okay, some of you, this is like very specific. Um, some of you could be getting like really good news regarding um, a legal situation with like a financial benefit to it. Um, this could be like a will, an estate, um, or just like any legal thing you may be going through. Some of you may be getting a contract, okay? Signing a contract, maybe for a, a home, um, maybe a, an employment contract, a business contract. There's just something about contracts that is coming up here. Um, and it's, it's positive. It's getting you in the right direction or going in the direction you want it to. Knight of Cups, yeah, it's an offer of some sort, guys. Ten of, uh, ten of Cups, fortune after difficulty. 
whatever this good karma that's coming in is, it's going to benefit your family, your household, essentially, fortune after difficulty. So whatever difficulty you're experiencing in your household, um, I feel like it's going to be remedied here. Um, I also feel like it could have something to do with family, maybe children, okay? Because we have two pages here that can represent kids, all right? Um, I feel like some of you could be manifesting like more time off, like more PTO, more vacation time, something along those lines so you can like take a trip or just like focus on yourself for a little while. Could be custody. Could totally be, especially because look here, we have the two kids here, the parents, we've got child, we got kid energy throughout this reading right now. Um, and with the justice card, this could be taken as a legal situation with regard to children. Um, this could also be something that was left to you by like a parent, a grandparent, um, a family member, like someone older than you. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go through the rows one more time before I close out with Oracle, all right? So first row, 10 of Pentacles, Strength, and the Lovers. Um, the abundance here, guys, is yes, it's it's tangible abundance, so like long-term financial stability, career stability, um, maybe like a long-term committed relationship, but I feel like you are the abundance is the courage to take a different path than your family. Like you're creating, you're going to be able to create a legacy. Now the type of legacy it is, these are, this is two major arcanas here. So it all depends on your life, right? Like what legacy are you wanting to build? What belief systems are you wanting to instill in yourself and future generations? Let me know in the comments. Okay. Queen of wands, four of pentacles, page of wands. Um, Whatever this is in the first row is giving you the confidence to step out of your comfort zone to do or go somewhere you've never gone to or never done before, all right? Um, now, temperance, three of pentacles, and two of wands. I feel like this is the confidence to either like build a business that's surrounding like healing, um, whether that's spiritual, health and wellness, maybe it's... Um, spiritual gift development and how that plays into your future, okay? Um, it literally could just be traveling, um, like studying abroad, going back to school, changing jobs where you work in a team, or it's you feel like your work is acknowledged more and it's more conducive to having more balance in your life, okay? Um, Last row, Justice, which is Libra Energy, Page of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. Um, yeah, this is like a, a, a very fair outcome or ending to a legal situation. Could be, again, a contract that's offered for a home, for, um, it, I'm hearing marriage contract for some of you. Um, it could be like signing something like to go travel or study abroad. It could be a, a, an employment contract. I don't know. It really depends on you. Or it could be something regarding like an estate or something regarding family. I feel like, again, I feel like something was left to you. But it could be property actually. Let's see. Closing messages. Honor, Chinese peony, we have master number 22. That is the master builder number in numerology, which represents physical manifestation. And then dedication. So we have Chinese peony and Edelweiss flowers. So I'm going to read the bottom first. And I just feel like you guys are creating something like, again, a, a business or moving into a career space that's just more balanced, but also tied to like what you 
what you're passionate about. I, I guarantee you guys, a lot of you, if you haven't already, you're going to be leaving your jobs if you're unhappy and starting something else. I feel a lot of you going into entrepreneurship. Comment my own boss if that resonates for you. Okay. Anyway, so we have dedication, which says there is the opportunity to work with more focus and dedication on projects associated with your life purpose and what you're passionate about. I literally just said this. <laughs> literally just said that. Um, it is also time to learn from past mistakes. Something you may have been working on for a long time or have been wanting to begin could gain a boost or a sudden interest. Educational and learning experiences are worthwhile looking into as new directions and brighter new horizons are on offer if the groundwork is undertaken properly. I literally said all of this to you guys. <laughs> um, anyway, the second card that came out is Chinese Peony, Honor. Yes, me and the book repeating each other. Exactly. All right, here we go. Time to enjoy life, show gratitude, and live to the full gracefully. Prosperity, opportunity, new business, and even abundance will gravitate toward you. Are you kidding me? That's exactly what I said in the first friggin' row. Holy shit. Plans should be made now under the influence of peony as they will benefit from its time-honored wisdom and strength. Healing breakthroughs and hope are also on offer. Guys, I, like two, like, okay. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> Literally everything I said in the, in the tarot came through in the oracle. I cannot make this shit up, y'all. I cannot make this shit up. Um, but that's what I've got for you guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's what I've got. So <laughs> let me know what resonated the most um, for you guys in the comments and if you enjoyed the reading. Again, if you would like to tip me for this reading um, and pay back a little bit of my energy, you can do so through Cash App PayPal Venmo. The link is in my TikTok bio. I appreciate anything, guys. Thank you so much. Um, but before I go, uh, I would like to ask if anyone is interested in hearing how to work with me. 